Hey guys, if you want to get in shape, you might do some burpees or run a mile. And if you want to fill your belly, you might try my meatballs and squash, Mexican style. Go ahead and gather these ingredients. Two pounds grass-fed ground beef. Six cups zucchini, large dice. Four cups tomato puree. Four cups sliced mushrooms. Four cups diced onions. One and a half cups each of red bell pepper, celery, and poblano pepper. One and a half cups diced green bell pepper. Two eggs. Half cup chopped cilantro. One teaspoon chipotle powder. One half teaspoon cinnamon. Two tablespoons chopped garlic. Super radical rib rub. Guys, we're gonna start off by rolling up our meatballs. Meat in a large mixing bowl. Celery, green pepper, two cups of the onion, our cilantro, chipotle, I'm gonna do half of the chipotle here, so a half teaspoon, all the cinnamon, and then two eggs. You're probably wondering where the salt's coming in. Super radical rib rub. Right here it says it's formulated for ribs, fantastic on everything else. And this has a really good kind of Mexican carne asada, uh, flavor going on. Number one ingredient is ancho chili. So we're gonna use that, just kind of eyeball it, maybe two tablespoons, and then we'll mix this up. Okay, so here we got our mixture. Everything's thoroughly incorporated. Now we're gonna use our one ounce scooper, preheated cast iron skillet, little olive oil. Just fill that scooper and then kind of round it off with my hand like that. Oh, look at this, you guys. Pulled the old switcheroo. Meatballs are now over here. The calabacitas, the squash is gonna to come together in this pot. Look at our first turn on our meatballs, nice and caramelized. We're gonna start some oil in our pot over here and our garlic. And what is calabacitas? It's a Mexican style squash dish. Five years ago, I think it was 2011, we did it, a different version of it here uh, in the journal and that one had corn in it. Um, this one has no corn. Just the ingredients you see here. It's gonna be our carb balance to our meaty meatballs. Once the garlic starts to toast, going with our onions. But I'm gonna go with my chipotle powder right away. That way we'll kind of toast that up and it will cook into all the ingredients as we add them. Then we'll go peppers, red, poblano, green, and a pinch of salt. All right, we'll cover that with a lid and let it rip while we turn our meatballs. Let's take a look, there we go. Oh, it's looking great, you guys, smells awesome. I'm gonna add the squash, another little pinch of salt, and lid back on. Here we go, guys, we're getting there. Check in, give it another stir. Squash has started, we're just adding the veggies kind of according to their density. Uh, we want the squash to soften up, but we don't want to add the mushrooms because they'll be overcooked by the time the squash is soft. At this point, we're gonna add the mushrooms. Stir that in and keep rolling. We'll keep an eye on our meatballs over there. We've got two turns done on them. One more turn, we'll finish our sauce and then we'll plate. So now we're gonna add our tomato. The tomato's gonna give us the bulk of our carbs. All right, and this'll heat up quickly. I'm gonna call that good. Our meatballs are done over here. We'll cut the heat, cut the heat. All right, guys, there we have it. I gotta get back to my fitness. I'm gonna get outside and run a mile. Uh, get in the kitchen. You guys, we're happier when we cook for ourselves. And you're gonna eat three meals tomorrow and three meals the next day, whether you believe it or not. So be prepared, set yourself up for success, and you'll be living fitter than ever.